After ensuring all lockout tagout procedures have been done, we're going to remove this panel here. There are going to be four screws. You see the two here. I'm going to take those off first. Set this panel off to the side for later. Our first step is going to be to remove this blue wire from the timer relay from terminal two. So we'll do that now. And we will reinstall this wire on the L1 side of the contactor next to the yellow wire. Next, we will remo remove the yellow wire from the contactor and from the timer. At this point, this red wire on terminal three needs to be removed from the timer and put next to the other red wire on the L2 side of the contactor. At this point, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver to remove the timer from the system. timers removed. Now, to finish this procedure, you're going to need to cut this yellow wire and remove it from the system. So we're going to snip this end off. And pull it through the zip ties. This will allow us to maintain the bundling of our wiring. Put the timer and this yellow wire in your return to your distributor. Before putting the panel back on and restoring power, you need to put a new wiring diagram over and in place of the current wiring diagram that will not call out the timer block.